The message title in your bulletin says, Breaking All the Rules. Breaking All the Rules, which is the theme that we are currently in, in this season of our church, of our lives, and even as we are uh, preparing our hearts for our stand conference on this weekend, uh, we have attempted at looking today at what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ in times such as these that we live in. It was Alvin Toffler in the 1970s that got up and made a profound statement. And I'm going to share that statement with you this morning. He said, the illiterate of the 21st century are not those that cannot read or write, but it is those that cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. Go ahead and say it again. He said, the illiterate of the 21st century are not those that cannot read or write. It is those that cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. In other words, what he was literally saying is, is that change is a process that too many do not like to enjoy. You are blessed today because your pastor and by God and the Holy Spirit has been able to use technology and media to reach you in ways unimaginable. We are literally living in a world that is full with information. As John Maxwell in his new book that called uh, Everybody Communicates with Few Connect, he says that we are now bombarded with over 30,000 messages a week. By the time we leave the church and walk outside, we are seeing images in our lives. Berkeley College did a study three years ago and they said the average person watches 300 commercials a day. Which means that there's 300 voices every day telling you what to wear, how to look, and what exactly makes you look good. So with everyone else's opinion being valued, sometimes we're not able to fully understand the call of God on our lives. Here lies the biblical text that we're reading and hearing today. Luke, the gospel writer, is now writing to the obelisk, explaining to him the things that Jesus began to do and teach now being manifest by his disciples. The word disciple is something that we really don't understand today. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, a church theologian, wrote years ago, he said, when God calls a man, he calls him to die. And that was the cost of discipleship. The problem with our culture today, especially now my generation, is that we love everything fast. We have instant coffee, and instant bricks, and instant everything. So we love everything in quick, fast, and in a hurry. If McDonald's takes more than 90 seconds to make your food, you get upset. Saying, what takes them so long? Because we have not learned the power of process. God does not always move in an instant. He takes a process and allows us to position ourselves to fully hear him in ways unimaginable. And so you will find that the book of Acts is explaining and clearly articulating to us through all the readers that it was a process by which the power of God moved and flowed in the early church. What we need today are not more preachers. What we need today are not more beautiful cathedrals and robust buildings. But what we need are people who know how to call on the name of Jesus and get some answers to the problems we have in society. We are living in a world in which all the economic status and everything that you could imagine that controls society is troubling. Everything that we would normally do or consider successful is now being decimated. And while everybody else is trying to figure out what should we do, the way that we are here this weekend discussing use me more. How can I be used by God? If I'm called to be a disciple, uh, that word in the Latin, it talks about being a pupil or a follower, similar to being someone that is a apprentice, someone that is listening or being guided by someone else. 
If you ever watched the television series a while back by Donald Trump called The Apprentice, he took people and trained them and encouraged them and developed them so that they would be able to now function how he wanted them to. The difference between God and The Apprentice is, is that God never fires you when you're in his will. And so when you understand that, you'll notice that we are to be followers of Jesus Christ. That's why the Apostle Paul would write in the epistles, follow me. And I follow Christ. Because we are literally connected with him. We are yoked with him. Because we have a covenant relationship with him. Let's look at the text. Let's look at the text. Bible says, and when the day of Pentecost had fully come. This was very important for three reasons. Number one, Luke exemplifies and shows us three major things that get us to this point. The first thing you will find in the Gospel of Luke. Because in the Gospel of Luke, he presents to us a crisis. Everybody say crisis. He presents to us a crisis because you will find and you will notice that whenever the crucifixion took place, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ that we celebrate today was a crisis at that time. Because the people that Jesus had taught and instructed and told them that he would do it, but if the situation happened, they were still unprepared. Look at Jesus hanging on the cross, dying down and being crucified. Like never before. Amen. You have to get to a point 
when they are young, when they are old, to not only listen to CNN, but never believe CNN over the Bible. Because at the end of the day, it is not the political landscape that controls your life. It is God that controls your life. The earth is the fullness of the glory of God, the splendor of God that is displayed in your life. You have to be able to have a lifestyle that is connected to God in prayer. But these words of that verse says, they were all with one accord. Everybody say one accord. Uh, the word one accord comes from the Greek word 